it looks to be one of the prettiest days we've had this summer. So let's get started. Here we go. There's nothing quite like the optimism of a new day, fresh bait. It's all about presentation. The flounder are very particular about their, when they're feeding on. And the open ocean. Hoping to catch flounder, take them home and have a fish fry. Flounder, <laughs> that's what we all hope for. Every morning, Captain Monty Hawkins of Morningstar Fishing in Ocean City has made a high stakes choice where to take about two dozen eager clients for a fruitful day of fishing. Well, I've been doing it for 38 years, and every day I have to decide where to go, and sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. <laughs> In a few hours, this boat will be about 20 miles offshore. The exact location Monty keeps a secret, but the first stop is something he's happy to discuss. Something we do every day, we drop blocks every single day. Today makes 21,799 blocks in this project. Ready, man? Monty wears two hats, boat captain and executive director of the Ocean City Reef Foundation. The nonprofit puts man-made objects in the water with the goal of replacing coral destroyed after decades of destructive commercial fishing practices. During the industrial boom of commercial fishing, we lost even areas of four square miles, four and a half square miles of seafloor habitat gone. Obliterated. And they, they weren't evil men. They had no idea. They didn't know what they were doing. Locks in the water. It's off to the first fishing spot. And the weatherman tells a little fib today. It's supposed to be less than 10 knots out of the west. Well, not a lot more, but a little more. The anchor drops, the rods come out, and waves rock the boat. This is his first adventure out on the high seas. It's a little bouncy today, right? But he likes it. It's like a roller coaster ride and fishing at the same time, right? Kind of. Yeah. The Morning Star is equipped with sonar that lets Captain Monty put his clients right on top of the fish they're hoping to catch. The smallest fish are put back. Bye -bye. As per regulations designed to keep their numbers growing. Lots of sea bass, but this boat is chasing flounder. Off to another spot. Doggone weatherman said less than 10 knots of wind. I'm showing 17 on a gauge here. Scoundrel. <laughs> A few flounder bite, but the lion's share is still sea bass. Some of the biggest fish go to the smallest fishermen. A few more stops, coolers fill, and the sun moves across the sky. All right, it's like I'm sitting right on sea bass and marking, marking fish as pretty as you want. And don't see a thing coming around the rail. We may as well take what we have caught and head over to the barn. Some of you have a real fine catch of sea bass at least. Gosh sakes, the poor showing and flounder I've had in, I don't know, over a month anyway. Just ain't much you can do with them today. The flounder may have been elusive, but for many clients, that's not what matters. They're just being out on the water is the best part of it. So, uh, fishing. Yeah, fishing. Not catching. It's called fishing, not <laughs> catching. <laughs> and for this vessel's captain, it's not just about what you take out, it's what you put back. I think it's a legacy generation after generation of fishers 
have left less and less. We have the knowledge, we have the ability, we can leave more and more now. We, we really can, we can absolutely positively make it better.